next I want to take a run down blueprint and link it in with what's been built so far temperatures warm it's up in the mid 20s it's a bit of a breeze Pedal much on this. This turn. Get it. What is big gears got me? Get this thing back on this part now. And then we're gonna come on up to here. Close okay. Uh, after the second jump, coming into this bottom section, that left corner does give you a little bit of time then just to set up again, ready for this part. It's been given another rake now. Cut some logs uh, from a downed few pound pine trees that have come down over there, uh, and also I've done a little bit of foraging looking better now uh, there's still a few high spots in the middle there so coming off the turn it's more or less the right shape there the uh, max is THR2 Corey's jump there Very basic shape there so far now. Probably gonna have to tweak bits here, get the lay of it going, but I think that's a basic shape, which I think is gonna work. Just gonna start at the bottom of this, uh, the landing for this jump. And I can maybe take a bit from the inside there, just scrape around there to make it wider, and then use that to fill up on the on the back. I think that's going to do for now. Leave it to settle now overnight, and uh, still going to need a lot more done to it. But I think it's improved. It's considerable improvement from before. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, nice. It's 
So far there's a lot of wood I'm using from down trees to try and get a run in coming off the boom then and I'm not sure if it's going to be a, a jump yet or if it's going to be a step down uh, it's all according what what I can find and how much dirt I can get from down there so that I can try and build it up then so it's quite a bit more distance now and originally the camber of the soil here yeah, the dirt it was going away from you so by putting the wood alongside now building up dragging the soil across being able to get a level going there and then I'm gonna to have to try and do the same thing then on the other side it's just to put a little bit of camber then so that you're not going to be landing on a side slope and then it's going to be pushing you off to the side so give this a run I did, I want some logs there now. Some foraging done. Got some uh, nice strong logs for the edge of this side. And cut some big logs there. And uh, end up against a tree there. Build it up and uh, see about deciding then which way I'm going to go about the feature. This is as far as I've made it now. So there's a gap jump coming over a trail that runs alongside it and then you're going to jump into there. But before I do anything else, what I need to do now is to find some good long uh, pins which I'll cut down to knock them in to secure the, uh, the top edge here because I've been not wanting people to ride this until I can put some pins here to secure this. There's a tree right next to it. So literally the roots are just everywhere. So it's snagging up. Managed to get some in now to secure, even to put pins on the side here. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. I'd like to have got that run in more level, but because it's so dry now, the soil is so hard that it's pointless trying to do anything. Built a little bit of a landing, I've dug out and just bowled it down a bit. At the minute, because the soil is so dusty, I can't even pack anything in, so it's gonna need some rain before you can really get some good shape on that. It's running slow, a lot slower than it has been. Uh, you can feel it that coming off that boom, you uh, you can feel the bike just just bogging down as you're going up towards the uh, the boom there, and then coming off the jump there again, it feels very loose as you're trying to crank to get some speed because you are going to need uh, to get a little bit of acceleration going there, um, and I've been giving it a fairly decent pull and I'm landing in the bowl there um, but I think out of all the jumps this is probably going to be the one that's going to be uh, easiest to case because a few times I've come up a little bit short uh, so I can either just pull pull back the landing a little bit or just make it case friendly but yeah definitely this section is more like a bus stop section you kind of go in slow try and accelerate out and then after that, you've got a downslope again then. So that should be about the only place where you're going to need to get uh, <coughs> a few cranks in. I'm going to call that a night. I've achieved what I wanted to, which really was to get that jump done, which was an absolute nightmare. Uh, so at least now that's working. I've tested that a few times. It feels secure. 
if people are riding it, at least I can keep a check on it, see how it's looking. Uh, this landing then, I'm going to come back to it and sort that out. And then I'll look at doing some more bits then further down. So uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.